All right, y'all, I'm gonna give you the inside scoop on why Marcelito really didn't get the golden buzzer. And boy, when I found out about this, I was conflicted. I did not know whether to feel upset because of what happened or if the logic behind it actually made sense. So let's get into it. What's up y'all, it's John Master Lee. Caught deep in the excitement of America's Got Talent champions. Oh boy, this season has been particularly phenomenal because of such amazing acts like Marcelito, Angelina Jordan, and V Unbeatable, our three favorite acts. But there's some trouble brewing here. And I really felt like I had to make this video because when I found out some additional information what was happening behind the scenes, I knew I had to share with y'all. And as you know, Lulu and I absolutely love America's Got Talent, the whole Got Talent network, because we discovered so many amazing performers from all over the world, and we really enjoy reacting to them and sharing them all with you. So many of them have actually reached out to us, thanking us for supporting them, and we've actually even gone to see the live show. The thing is, is that as we start to learn more about how the show is run, we're really getting concerned in terms of how the producers of the show are starting to manipulate our emotions. Now we've talked a lot about this on our channel, about how the drama is created. And in fact, I was actually working on a video that I wanted to post up in a couple more days that goes into how what you see on TV is fake. But there was one particular segment in this video that I was working on that I felt like really deserved its own separate video. Mainly because we have a lot of Marcelito fans who are following us. And I feel like you all deserve the truth. The truth of why he did not get the golden buzzer. Now I know this to be a fact because this information comes from someone who saw the show live. And what happens at the live show is different than what you see on TV. So to give you a little bit of background, all right, the very first episode of America's Got Talent Champions featured Marcelito, and he did an absolutely amazing performance. A performance that was so good that the judges were sitting there talking about how he deserved the golden buzzer. Simon was even looking at Howie going like, hey, you should do this. Howie, you actually should do it. I think it'd be amazing. But this is where things got really interesting because Howie said, you know what, it's too early in the evening for me to give you the golden buzzer. You are so worthy of the golden buzzer. And I think you're one of the most incredible singers, but this is very early in the night and I can only choose one. And so just like that, despite how absolutely amazing Marcelino was, despite how everyone in the audience loved that performance, you could just see as the camera was panning around, people were on their feet, they were loving it. They were chanting golden buzzer even. Did not happen. Boy, we were shocked. Now, the first thing here that I wanna share with you that I feel is deceptive is that the order of performances that you see on TV actually isn't the same order that's being filmed that day. Now, I shared this information with y'all before in a video that we made about last year or so when Lulu and I went to check out AGT, and we really didn't think too much about it. And here's the reason why. The show we saw, the initial act that went on, featured a magician called Don Chambers. Amazing dude, he had this elaborate contraption that would basically generate beer, like it was a beer machine. But the thing was so complex that they had to take all this time to set it up before we even got to the show. So the minute we walked in the door, you could see the whole contraption set up. So it was obvious he was going to go first. And as he did his performance and as he wrapped up, it took quite a bit of time to tear down the whole contraption for the other acts to go next. And in fact, I remember so much of that liquid, which I'm pretty sure wasn't real beer. So it was a very distinct memory. So I kind of just chalked it up to the fact that they film things out of sequence because it takes a lot of time to set up and tear down these acts. So even though Don Chabers performed first, his act wasn't shown on TV till sometime later in the show. However, the fact that this happens meant that the producers were also taking advantage of trying to milk the most drama out of a situation. So the producers of the show will change the order of the acts for TV so that the show starts big and it ends big. So what happened here with Marcelito is where I think they took it too far. When Marcelito was on TV, they showed him as the first act that night. That's why Howie said it's too early in the night for him to get the golden buzzer because he doesn't know if there's better acts. The thing is, Marcelito was not the first act. The very first act that night was Boogie Storm. That's right, Boogie Storm, the act that Simon loved for whatever reason. Who knows why he loves them that much? They got the golden buzzer. 
Simon basically reached over and pressed the golden buzzer, stealing it from Howie. Now, I don't know if that was scripted or not. I don't know if everyone just kind of accepted because, you know, Simon is pretty much the boss of the show. Boss gets whatever he wants. But the thing is, that meant that there was no more golden buzzer after that. There was only one golden buzzer per show, which meant that by the time Marcelito came on and he was about in the middle of the pack, he was never going to get the golden buzzer. Now, if you're as confused as I am, you're wondering, well, what about this conversation that they had on TV about how Howie can't give someone the golden buzzer just yet, it's too early. But this is very early in the night. Well, it looks like that conversation, it was faked. Faked to create more TV drama. I have a feeling that the super fans will put you through to the next round. Come on, super fans. Yeah. Come on, super, super fans. fans. Super fans, super fans, super fans, super fans. Super fans. Super fans. Now, when I heard this, I honestly thought like, what, this doesn't make sense. Why even fake something like this? Because there's so many people at the show who are literally seeing this, when they watch it on TV, you know someone's gonna say something about it. The people at the show actually don't have to sign any paperwork in terms of any sort of non-disclosure, right? Like the performers do. And in fact, if the performance say anything, if they break their confidentiality agreement, they could be fined as much as $5 million. That's right, five freaking million dollars. So you know they're not gonna say anything about it. But everyone in the audience could say something. And in fact, there's been a lot of information online leaked about who won this and what happened there. So I had to confirm with my friend, like, does this really happen? You were at the show, did you see it this way? And he emphatically says, yes, Boogie Storm got the golden buzzer, the first act of the night. Now, the rabbit hole for this goes even deeper because I distinctly recall some articles out there about how Marcelino thought he would get the golden buzzer. So like, why would Marcelito lie about something like that? Did he not know that only one golden buzzer was given per show? Or did he have to go along with the story that was being told and the producers made sure, hey, you gotta stick with the same narrative here, otherwise something can go wrong. So I had to double check on this quote because it's either that scenario or something else. And the article that I was able to find where this was mentioned was actually from another YouTuber out there slash website called Talent Recap. A website that actually is not affiliated at all with America's Got Talent. It can be confusing because so much of what they do is just repost the same shows that are up there, not reactions itself. And they write a bunch of articles about the show. Now, the thing is, I don't quite trust their interpretation of what happened because they've been known to create very sensational articles. What they basically quoted Marcelito say is, I really thought he hit the golden buzz. The thing is, is that this is a quote from an interview that Marcelito did in the Philippines with Boy Abunda. Now, if you're not familiar with Boy Abunda, he's actually this very famous talk show host who has a TV show on ABS-CBN called Tonight with Boy Abunda. But because it's in Tagalog and because Marcelino doesn't speak a lot of English, if you remember when he was on AGT, he came out with his wife who did the translation work for him. He actually understands it pretty well, but he's much more comfortable speaking in Tagalog. So it was that interview where he revealed that he thought he would get the golden buzzer. Because that's a translation, the nuance could be off there. So if you're Filipino, let me know if that's exactly what he said. It raises an interesting issue of, is he being coached to say something very specific, knowing what we saw really happened? When you look at this as a whole, you start to realize just how these producers are trying to manipulate your emotions to drive the most amount of interest. You have to kind of put on your producer thinking hat in terms of why they would do something like this. You see, Marcelito, of all the different contestants, was probably the biggest viral sensation online. If you go back and look at his videos where he's saying Dobacabra, which is seeing both guy and girl, his videos, before they were taken down from the wish bus, was racking up over a hundred some million views. He was a viral sensation, which meant that if you were a producer of the show, you knew you wanted to milk that. So by having him as the first act in the very first episode, it meant that all these different people online were going to come to watch that show. And in any new show series, the very first episode is critical. It basically sets the tone of how well you're going to do for the rest of the season. So they basically front loaded the biggest act to that show. And by not giving him the golden buzzer, they now also created the biggest drama possible on that show, giving it to another act that many people thought absolutely was not deserving of it, was given to an act that was in many ways a joke. One judge taking another judge's golden buzzer. 
It's almost like a novelty act at this point. I knew he would do it. How do I know he would do it? So there you go, you all. I know I'm sounding very emphatic about this, but I honestly think it is really important to let you all know about this because I think the more you all know about this, it'll start to come to light of whether or not people think this is okay or not, right? In other words, this is not really manipulating the end results, but it is manipulating the way the story is told. And I think it comes down to a point where if you change the story so much from what really happened, at some point, are people going to trust a show like AGT is fair or not? And in fact, I feel like this particular season, there's been enough controversy raised about whether or not if there's legitimacy in the voting system, if there's fairness in terms of why some videos are posted online, some other ones aren't. And the producers have continued to remain silent about what's been going on. Not only silent, but continue to push the boundaries, what I think many people will feel might be deceptive storytelling. So Marcelito fans and America's Got Talent fans, let me know, let me know what you think about the situation. Because I think the tally of comments here is going to give a good sense of whether or not everyone can accept that this is just part of the story, part of the drama, or if the producers of America's Got Talent went too far. By the way, Make sure you subscribe because I will share with you another video of all the different things that the producers of the show don't want you to know about. Trust me, there's a lot more than just this. And this one in particular just kind of hit home because, you know, Lulu is from the Philippines. And so Marcelino is like a hometown favorite. And I just felt like, you know, being part of a story, which I'm sure it's not something he would have probably comfortable with, is not cool. All right, y'all. Peace out. The chupacabra is chupacabra. real with him, baby. It's <laughs> doble. real. Doble. It's double. Doble, Kara. Can't